Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an icon box carousel with Elementor. And uh, this is what I'm going to teach you how to do. For example, we can see this section here. So how to create something like this that slides automatically and also you can use this arrow button to control it and you're going to have some, you know, some dots at the bottom here also. And there, here is another design also that I used on another website. So I'm just going to show you how you can design this using Elementor and one other free plugin. So let's dive right into it. So the first thing you need to do is to log into the WordPress admin area of a website. So I'm already logged in. I'm just going to visit my dashboard here. And um, the plugin we're going to install for this is called Unlimited Elements. So we come to plugins and select add new. So make sure you have Elementor installed already and then come here to search for Unlimited. So this plugin we have right here is what we need to create icon box carousel. So we're going to install this plugin and also activate it. So once the plugin has been installed and activated, we're going to come to widgets. And on that widget, we're going to scroll down and uh, we're going to look for something that says carousel all right so here we have it it says carousel widgets so we have about nine widgets here and only one is available in the free version so i already have this installed already or well, in case you don't have it installed so we're going to see something similar to this let me use another widget as an example so you're going to see something similar to this install button so you just click on this install and then you'll be able to use this widget on your website now what we're going to do now is to come to pages and select add new page so I'm just going to give my page a title. So let me just say icon box and uh, I'm going to come to this um, side here. I'm going to change the template from default template to elemental full width and I'm going to publish the page. So now that the page has been published, we're going to click on this blue button that says edit with elemental. So right here we can start creating our icon box carousel. Now the first thing we need to do, for example, in this section, we have something that says study groups and then we have this section right here. So first thing first, we need to create um, a section. So we're going to use the flex box and we're going to choose this direct direction column. We're going to choose this first one. Now, one thing you can do is to just start designing. For example, we can change the background color for this container. So I'm going to come to style and I'm going to click on classic. I'm going to change the color to something like 1A, 1A, 1A. Now we're going to come back to add another element and we're going to select adding. So drag and drop this adding widget to the container and we're going to say let's say our services all right so we have our services now we're going to come to style and uh, right here under the text color we're going to change the text color to white so that it will be visible and we're going to come to typography and choose a different font so for this one let's use bebas new i don't know whether i pronounced that one very well but this is the um, font right here now we're going to change the font size to around 50 to make it more bigger and there we have it now the next thing we can do is to put in the widgets so we come to add elements and we can just search for carousel all right so here we have it it says cut carousel so we're going to drag this and drop it on the container and uh, we're going to select this whole container come to advanced and unlink all this padding so just to give it um space at the top left right and bottom we're going to add let's say 100 to the top and 100 to the bottom and let's just add about let's say 50 to the right and 50 to the left okay so here we have it now let's edit this um widget itself this icon box carousel for example you can see here that we have a white background we have the image we have a green tag a green button and some other things so first thing first we're going to start from the background so let's click on this pencil icon here and we're going to come to style so on that style we're going to come to background color to change the background to whatever we want to use from the, for this one we're going to use plain white now we're going to make the edges rounded a little bit because i don't want it to be sharp it depends on your own um preference but i don't want the edges to be sharp now we're going to scroll back up and we're going to see something that, is, that says slide radius. So I'm just going to give the one, this one 5 at all sides. And also, if you can notice, you can see a white line and then a black line here at the top of each boxes. All we can do for this one is to come down to content and we're going to come to um, general. Okay, so it's not under general, it is under layout. So we're going to scroll down and this show top decoration, we're going to deactivate this. Okay, so that one has gone. And then we can start to work on the text for this icon box. Now we're going to come back to style and we're going to scroll down to the title. So we're going to change the typography for the title and we're going to use intertight. This is one of the fonts I like to use the most. To so intertight, we're going to change the weight to 700 and then the font size to, let's say, um, 30. Okay, um, let's use 25. So we're going to use 25 
and then we can change the color also from plain black to 1a 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 all right now we're going to move to the next next to the text and also we're going to change this to 1a 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 and also we're going to change the typography to intertitles so i think the font size is okay as it is but let's choose something different let's choose another shade of black all right so let's leave it at this let's leave it at this now to the button to the button we can change the button typography also by using intertitles all right and um button padding let's unlink this and let's use our own padding so for the top it says 10 for the right it says 20 let's make it 50 and let's make the left 50. so it depends on your own preference this is how you can change the size of the button so i think 50 is going to be too much let's just make it 30 and left 30 all right and also let's make it rounded because the edges are sharp now let's scroll down and we should see um okay so here it is button radius so let's just add five all right and also we can change the color for this button also so it says button background color we have um this shade of i uh, should i call it off white or something so let's change it to what we used on that website 0055 de that's the shade of blue i used um okay i use green here what is the shade of blue i used to use on almost all my websites now let's change the text button text color we're going to choose something like white okay so when we hover on it it's going to change to black to change the color we're going to come here to change um let's say we want to use red so when we hover on this button it's going to change to red but um let's use let's actually let's use another shade and let's choose another shade of blue all right just for the purpose of this tutorial when you're designing you can use what is best for you okay so everything is coming together and is actually looking good one thing we can also do is to change the size of these big buttons that we have at the side now navigation arrows let's come down here so it says navigation arrow first of all we can change the color right there we use black so let's change the color to black from here we can just choose 1a 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 and then the background color we can use white and then the icon color okay so this is for the over background color we can choose white but let's leave it as 1a 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 and then the icon color itself we can choose white and then navigation arrow icon for the hover let's just leave it as it is or we can just do something different let's change the um over button over color to 0055de okay so when we over on it is going to change color to this and uh, we can just come back here to change the navigation arrow radius and let's make it 50 to make it circle okay so everything is looking good everything is looking good we can also change the size of this arrow by coming here to change the navigation arrow background size so you can reduce this let's reduce this to let's say 35 and then let's reduce the icon size itself let's say sorry let's say 15. so you can decide to play around with this and also you can decide to change the location of the button by using um nav arrow position so we can either slide this down or slide this up to change the position so let's leave it here and actually let me just increase the background size a little bit let's say 45 that should be good okay and also before i before i move on to the next section what we can do also is to add a little bit of space between this image and the text that we have here so to do that we're going to come to content padding and we're going to unlink these values and at the top we can just add let's say 20 and if you want to increase more um add more space to the bottom you can change this to maybe 70 depending on your own preference you can change this one also to 70 but actually i think i'm going to leave it as 30 and the bottom should be 30 also uh, okay i think this is okay so let's move on to the next section now let's come to sec um to the content area and let's start from general so the first option says loop if you want this um this icon box to keep starting all over again for example by the time we get to item 4 which is the last item on this you want it to continue that starting from to start again from item 1 which is like starting the whole um carousel stops all over again so you're going to enable this option now number of items that you want to show let's say you want to show number of items let's say you want to show two columns on the desktop you can change it to two let's say you want to show one you can change it to one and so on and so forth but for desktop theory is actually okay now slice to scroll meaning that how many boxes do you want to scroll at once um it's going to be advisable to scroll one box at once but you can change this one to two 
the number of boxes you want to scroll let's say you want to scroll three at once and for this one you can just scroll the three at once but it won't really be obvious for these four um, items that we have here so let's just return it back to one so you can play around with the transition speed the margin between the slides and then every other thing although i don't really touch any of these um, settings that we have here as it's perfect for my own need already and also um you can scroll down here and also decide to enable mouse drag whether you uh, want people to be able to drag this uh, or not and also touch drag for those that will be visiting your website on a smartphone and also scroll to the head and several other options that we have here now to lay out also do you want to show the arrows do you want to show bullets do you want to show the image image link and so on and so forth so you can just play around with this setting and also the show title above contents reminds me of something we can come to style and right here we can align this to the left right or justify i actually like to align it to the left as it makes it more easy to read as per woman reads from you know left to right side so i prefer it like this and this is how you can just basically design um icon box carousel for your website now let's check whether this is responsive across all devices so let's come to um tablets setup and this is looking good on tablets and also when we come to mobile okay mobile can be better let's edit the container itself so select this edit container and unlink these values so let's still maintain 100 at the top and bottom but let's use 50 at the right and 50 at the left so come come up here to click on publish and in case you are editing your um your mobile version and then you can see something like this do not panic just click on this icon this pencil button and come to content and under general just change this to two and return it back to one and you're going to fix the um, error that you have in displaying it properly on your mobile version so let's click on publish now let's return back to desktop mode and just as a bonus if you want to create something like this let me show you how you can create this so let's come back to this same elemental section and let's duplicate no don't let us duplicate let's come here click on plus and let's choose flexbox and let's choose this fourth structure that we have here so what we can just do is to just let's say copy this service our services let's paste it here and let me just use the same background that we use just to make things easier uh, let's change this to 1a 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 so our services are that set at that side and let's copy this carousel widget so click on copy and paste it right here okay so for some reason this is not pasting let me just delete this all right so for some reason this is not pasting let's do one thing let me visit the structure and then come down here and let's delete so we can just come down here to search for carousel drag and drop it right here all right so what i can just do is to right click on this copy and then come down here to paste this style all right so that should fix it so for this section we're going to change a few things so let's come to show um to this edit icon edit card carousel let's come down to general and let's change the number of, number of items to two all right so here we have it so we can just work on other things like coming down to layouts and um, removing the top decoration okay and you can also add more text let's click on add elements and text editor drag and drop this here and lastly click on elements add elements and let's search for icon so drag the icon here also and let's choose a different icon let's say arrow arrow and let's choose arrow right inserts so um there are several things we can do let's come to style let's align it to the left um let's change the color to white okay uh the size is okay as it is the size is okay and the text also let's do a few things let's change the color to white and uh, let's just change the font family to enter tight all right now let's edit this container come to advance and give it about 70 padding all true so there we have it something similar to what i created here so with this we've come to the end of the tutorial and if you enjoyed the tutorial please like this video and also comment for more video suggestions or any question you might have for me and lastly don't forget to subscribe as that is one of the ways you can help me grow this channel and i will see you guys in the next video peace out